Greetings fellow traveler. Today I want to remind you that the greatest gift you can ever give somebody is love. Now that may appear on the outside to be different things. Love can be received and given many different ways. But what I've come to realize along my own journey, my own experience is many people are searching to be loved. I can even see that in myself at times where I was really doing things and being around uh, people in my life because I was searching for love. Now, it wasn't until I found love for myself that I began to understand what was going on within me. It changed me a lot. I'm never perfect. But I'm honest with myself with that. And I forgive myself and I give myself grace. I hope you do the same as well. But that key aspect of love, I mean, really, like, think about it. Growing up or even now, you may have people in your life that show you a certain kind of love that's just, it's unforgettable. It really leaves an impression on you. It could be something that had passed on. They gave you a certain kind of love that is irreplaceable. It's just something that's it helped propel you to be where you are in this moment, appreciating the simple acknowledgement of the word love because it invokes that feeling that you connect with that person or that experience or that thing. Love is a powerful force. And being able to embrace that own it as being part of you, who you truly are in your essence. It's an amazing feeling. So even when we go out into the world and we give our love to others, it may not be received how we believe it should be received, but that's okay. Because somewhere along their journey, that person that you show love to, they'll appreciate it in their own way. They may not even be able to acknowledge it or understand what it is that you gave them. But being able to show somebody love. I'm not talking about admiration. I'm not talking about uh, bigging up somebody's ego or nothing like that. No, I'm talking about a, a simple, honest, authentic interaction. A simple, being present in the moment interaction where you see somebody as the child of God that they are. Not as an employee, not as an employer, not as a, a student, not as a teacher, not as a stranger, not as a relative, brother, sister, whatever. Nah, simply being in that moment with them. Giving them your open-hearted, undivided attention. And loving them for who they are. This doesn't mean that you change who you are for them. Nah, you're showing them the love that they have within them that maybe they have not discovered. That person, that place, that thing that reminds you of a good feeling when you think of love, that's what that was and that's who they were for you. We didn't see it. Or maybe sometimes we did see it, but it was difficult to really grasp. That's all right. It's the simple understanding that we are loved because we are love. We come from love. No matter what you believe in, no matter what religion, no matter what faith, I don't trip on none of that. That's not my business. I want to remind you that whatever you believe in, you're here because of that. And that thing, however you acknowledge it, is pure love. It's pure light. When we in this world, this wilderness, it can get dark at times. But there's always a little bit of light that shines through because you are the light. It never changes. That's who you are. So please give yourself grace. Remind yourself, nobody else does, that you are love. And give yourself that love. Give yourself that attention. Give yourself that care. Because the more you do it for yourself, the more you set a demonstration for others to do it for themselves. It doesn't mean we're always going to agree. It's absolutely fine. But we 
we can get to a point where we understand it we're all searching for the love within and we all want to hold on to that and expand that as much as possible and in doing that you shine your light and allow a spark in others with that said be blessed and please don't forget to smile